Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video on how to use the Arch User Repository or the AUR for Arch Linux users. One of the nicest things about Arch is how uh, smooth and streamlined the package management system is through Pacman. However, for the few packages that you want but aren't included in the official repositories, you'll need to go through the AUR. Now the AUR can be found at aur.archlinux.org and basically this site provides you a search function so that you can search for a package and uh, install that. Now we're going to be looking for the package cower which is a particular uh, AUR package agent I guess it says simple AUR agent um, which will help you download packages. Sometimes you'll see these packages with a little dash git at the end that means that this is the most up-to-date version based on the Git repository of this package. So if you just use Cower, then these are probably like stable releases. Whereas if you use Cower-Git, it's going from the most up-to-date uh, commit on the master branch. So sure, why not? Let's trust it. We'll be a package tester for this one. And from here, you can just click Download Tarball right over here, and that will download that package. Now, I don't like coming to the site aur.archlinux every time I like doing things on the command line and that's what this cower package is going to help us do. So now that I've downloaded it we can see our tarball is here in my uh, in my main directory and we can just untar that and you see it makes a directory called cower-git with a file inside of it called a package build and each of the aur uh, package build files has a bunch of information about the package such as its version. You can see this one is maintained by this man here, Dave Reisner, and he each time the uh, git repository is updated he might release a new version if he's on top of it. And he puts a little description here, the architectures that it will build on, the source URL, the license, the dependencies that it depends on. So if these packages weren't installed, these are the ones it needs. Um, and then uh, things you need to build it, you need git because it's a git repository so to get the actual git repository you need this installed etc. Um, in another video I, later I may go over how to make one of these package build files but for now all you need to know is that each of the AUR packages will have a package build and you can use the make package command to build it. So we can use the dash s and s here stands for sync dependencies so it's saying um, that if the package build requires dependencies that aren't currently installed it will look in pacman to try and find them now if they're not in pacman you may have to install the dependencies using the AUR first but usually the uh, dependencies are going to be already in the main repositories so if I do this the nice thing about doing it this way is that everything is contained within this one directory you can see it made a source directory where it went in and uh, built the actual source code it made a package directory which it then uh, it then uh, tarballed into this package file and that package file can be used to install it into the actual system so now that I've built the package and I know it builds well I can install it to my system with dash i for install or if I didn't want to do two steps, I could do this all in one step with dash si. So let's go ahead and do that and install it. And it's saying I already have cower installed, so do I want to uh, uninstall that and do the cower dash git? Yes, I do. And now I will say yes, install the whole thing. And as you can see, now it's installed to my system. So now we can use the cower command. And one of the things I like about cower is um, it has a search function for the AUR. So let's say I wanted to find a package like vimpc then I can search the AUR and it'll show me all packages that match that. Then if I wanted to install one of these, like say vimpc.git, I can use dash d vimpc.git and it will download a, a directory with the package build in it and using the same process I just showed you, you could then install this package. Uh, another nice thing that Cower does is it will show you which of your packages need an update. So if I use Cower-U 
it will show me all the packages that have newer versions available. And the really nice feature about that is if I wanted to download all of these, I just add a dash D to that. So dash U for update and dash D for download all those updates. And now it will put all of them into uh, the directory I'm currently in. So for example, if I, on a normal day, wanted to update all of my AUR uh, directories, I would probably make a directory called temp like this and go in here and use cower-ud to download all the updates that are needed. And then it's going to put a directory for each of those packages in here, and each of those directories will have a package build file somewhere in them. And we already know we want to go to each of these directories individually and use the make package command to build them, but how can we do that in one file swoop in instead of having to do that manually each directory at a time? Well, we can use the find command. Uh, we looked at the help file for the find command in another previous video. And there's a an, there's an, uh, parameter for the find command called the dash exec command that will allow you to execute a command. Um, you may have heard of this before. I don't know if you have or have not heard of the exec dir command, which is like exec, but the specified command is run from the subdirectory containing the matched file. Therefore, we can specify a command that will be run in the directory of the matched file. So we can search for all files named package build, like this, and then we can use exec dir to run a command in the directory where those files were found. So I can use uh, exec, dir, exec dir and then specify my make package si. You need to close it off with a semicolon with a backslash in front of it, like this. And then that will go into each of those respective directories and run the make package command. So now you can see it's uh, compiling, uh, looks like the Elixir language. And when, once it's done, it will move on to the next package. Now it may ask me at certain points in here if I want to uh, install the package and it may ask me for a root password to be able to do that. But that's okay because we want it we want it to ask our permission to install packages on our system, not to just do it idly. Um, unfortunately, you can't run the whole thing under sudo. Like you couldn't do sudo find or sudo make package because um, in general, it's a bad idea to do sudo make package on Arch. And if you try to, it will give you that warning and not let you. But this is a pretty... Uh, pretty good substitute. Generally packages don't take too long. Uh, in this particular example, the Elixir language, and I think it's going to try to install Wine Silverlight as well, are kind of larger packages, so it may take longer. Okay, so now it's done building Elixir and it's asking me if I want to install. I'm just going to hit enter for yes, and now it's uh, installing a dependency for the libiodbc package. I'll just say yes, install that dependency and now it's uh, getting the sources for the lib IODBC and it's building that one. So some packages will take longer than others. Um, I'm not going to have you sit here and watch through the whole thing. Um, usually, you know, the packages are small and it doesn't take that long. Um, but I just thought I'd show you my method for installing packages from the AUR and once this is all done, um, I can just delete all these directories. You don't need to keep them around because now they'll be installed on the system. And after these uh, are installed via the package management system, you can uninstall them just using pacman, which is the really nice thing about it. So if you're used to the pacman commands already and you want to get rid of one of these ones you've installed via the AUR, you just use the same dash capital R uh, command to remove them. So hope that helped any of the Arch users out there. Thank you for watching. Hope to put out some more videos soon.